Hi guys! Welcome to ENS 181 Engineering Mathematics. So in this lecture series, we're going to discuss the first order ordinary differential equations and the methods on finding the solution of a first order ODE. So here is the chapter contents of our discussion. An equation contains only ordinary first degree derivatives of one or more dependent variables of a single independent variable is called a first order ordinary differential equation. And a first order ODE comes with two forms. We have the standard form and the differential form. And it also can be classified on different equations. So we have separable equation, linear equation, exact equation, homogeneous equation, and Bernoulli's equation. So each classification has its own method on finding the solution of a first order ODE. First, we're going to discuss the separable equation. So a first order ODE is separable if it can be written in the form g of y dy over dx equals to f of x. So the method on finding the solution of this separable variable equation is first we are going to rewrite the equation to its separated form. So, separate lang natin ang term with the variable y at ang term with the variable x all on these different sides of our equation. Then, to find the solution, we just have to integrate both sides. So, after integration, our solution becomes capital G of y equals to capital F of X plus the constant C since we are doing integration. Capital G of Y is the integral of your G of Y dy and capital F of X is your integral of F of X dx. And we just combine the our arbitrary constant C since we have the integration process. So in this practice quiz, you have to Put the following equation in its separated form. So do not integrate, you just have to separate the variable of each equation. So I want you to pause the video and try answering the practice quiz. So now we are going to answer this practice quiz. For your letter A, we have dy over dx equals to factor out lang natin si y. Then, matitira si x squared minus 4 over x plus 4. Then, separate natin. This one becomes dy over y equals to x squared minus 4 over x plus 4 dx. Then, for letter b, we have dy over e raised to negative y second y equals to e raised to x times 1 plus x dx. So for letter C, we have y plus 1 over y dy equals to x over x plus 1 dx. For letter D, we have d of theta over negative sine theta equals to d t. So these are the answer for the following equations. We just separate the variable of each term. So how are we going to find the solution of a separable variable equation? So here, in, a, in this example, we're going to solve the solution for this differential equation y prime plus y squared sine x equals to 0 with an initial condition of y of 0 equals to 1. First thing we do is we manipulate the differential equation to its standard form so that it is easy for us to separate the variable of the 
differential equation. So from this one, we transform it to its equivalent standard form. dy over dx equals to negative y squared sine x. We just transpose this part to the right-hand side of the equation. And then we treat dy over dx as if it was a fraction to separate the variable. So after transforming it to its standard form, we separate the variable of the differential equation. So this one is our separated form. dy over y squared equals to negative sine x dx. So after separating the variable, we integrate the right side from x equals to 0 to x and the left side from y equals to 1 to y since we are given the initial condition of y of 0 equals to 1. So we integrate our separated form. So upper, upon integrating, we have negative 1 over y evaluated from 1 to y equals to cosine x evaluated from 0 to x. Then we evaluate this equation. We have 1 minus 1 over y equals to cosine x minus 1. Then we solve for y. Then we obtain our explicit solution y equals to 1 over 2 minus cosine x. So that is the step-by-step -step process on finding a solution of your separable variable equation. So we have here the example for separable variable equation. We are going to find the solution of our differential equation, quantity 1 plus x dy minus y dx equals to 0. So first we are going to manipulate this differential equation so that it is easy for us to separate the variables. So we have 1 plus x dy. We transpose this term to the other side of our equation. So we have y dx. Then separate the variable y and variable x. We have dy over y equals to dx over 1 plus x. So to find the solution, we are going to integrate both sides. So the integral of dy over y is ln of y. And the integral of dx over 1 plus x, so if we let u equals to 1 plus x, we have du equals to dx. So this part of our equation becomes integral of du over u. So the integral of du over u is ln of u. Then we substitute back the value of our u. We have ln of x plus 1. Then we don't forget the constant c since we are doing integration process. So to find the value of our solution, we raise both sides by the exponential to cancel out the natural logarithm so that we can get the explicit solution. So we have e raised to ln y equals to e raised to ln x plus 1 plus c. So, e raised to ln of y is just equal to y and e raised to ln of x plus 1 is x plus 1. This one is just e raised to c. So, we can let constant a as e raised to c. So, our explicit solution now becomes y equals to a times x plus 
1. So this is our explicit solution for the differential equation quantity 1 plus x dy minus y dx equals to 0. So we have another example here of a separable variable equation with an initial condition. So we are tasked to find the solution of our differential equation dy over dx equals to 4x square root of y with initial condition of y of 0 equals to 1. So first we are going to separate the variable x and y. So we manipulate this differential equation, it becomes dy over square root of y equals to 4x dx. Then we integrate both sides. So integral of dy over square root of y is equal to 1 over 1 half y raised to 1 half. Then the integral of 4x dx is 4 over 2x squared then plus c. We just combine the constant of integration for both sides. So simplifying this one, we get 2y raised to 1 half equals to 2x squared plus c. So we divide all the equation by 2. To further simplification, we have y raised to 1 half equals to x squared plus c. So to find the value of our arbitrary constant c, we apply our initial condition y of 0 equals to 1. So we have 1 raised to 1 half equals to value ng x natin with 0 squared plus c. So our c is 1 raised to 1 half is 1. So this one becomes y raised to 1 half equals to x squared plus 1. We square all the equation. We have our explicit solution y equals to x squared plus 1 squared. So this is our particular solution for this separable variable equation with an initial condition. So in this part, we have a practice quiz for separable first order ODE. So I want you to pause this video and try answering the solution for each differential equation. So the answer for our practice quiz will be posted on a different video. So that is the end of this lecture. I hope you learned from this video. So next topic will be linear equations. See you on the next discussion.